All right, what's up, kids, guys? Time for another video. Got my gloves here. Gonna do show you another trick with these. Like I uh, just debuted these the last time. They do come bigger. These are like 25 pound. But what I'm gonna do today is gonna show you when you go to a heavier item. Like the last time I was holding them like this. Once you get used to them, venture into holding them more like this. Because when you've got heavier weight, you can do it. Because I told you the concept of balance. <sighs> like, for example, when I showed you with these, how you can go from the last... You might want to refer to the last video when I show you. Say, be able to hold them like this. Then be able to hold them like this. You know what I mean? Hold them like this. You should be able to hold do it like this before you take the chance of doing it like this same thing with the bigger ones and I was going to add another thing to show you these I had other kind of boots um, if you want a set of get yourself a pair of steel toed boots or steel toed tennis shoes there were people I worked jobs with that had steel toed tennis shoes you may want to train in when you do this Nobody else says that, but I do. For your own safety, don't smash your toes. I do the shit in bare feet a lot, but I'm more careful. But for your own safety, you should make the effort and do that until you get better. And when you get into bigger items, wear gloves, not just the weightlift. Get yourself like the work gloves the, with the grippy things on there because the reason is... Not only these are cheaper, like you work in, I use them all the time. They keep your hands from slipping. When you're using a bigger item, there's going to be a slip in your grip. Whether it's sweaty or oils on your fingers. These little ones you can use without gloves. But when you're getting into the bigger ones, trust me, you want to wear gloves. But see, remember when I showed you the last time I was doing this. Telling you to hold them like this. And say this is like the 25 they come in bigger and then when you you can go like like this with both of them to get them up or you can do one at a time and then when you uh, go like this it starts getting easier you just got to get used to the balance show you from this angle all right you get the idea but um, now we're gonna drop it down see and hold them a little like this a little cuz like when you feel you're ready for it and up one and up two you see I'm holding it more up like this about it an inch or so then you're gonna crank it up. Hui. 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 show you what's going on from each angle here and this takes some strength to hold this balanced too you know what I mean eventually you can take it where you can hold it a little down like this but that's a little more risky but you do it as you go a little bit at a time and this is how you deal with if you're handling the weight you slip down a little bit these are mostly two-handers and when you get for two hands if you get use this weight or above a lot of people don't like to do like what I'm doing like one in each hand they like to use them with two hands only one unless you're like really good you wanna but like um, or where was I once you start getting into things like this you're going to want to wear gloves when you do shit like this here. 
because and plus Yeah, and plus, like, uh, because it could fly out of your hand. And if you... And if your head is, if it's ever too close to your head, all you do is move your head away a little bit, that's all. If you're good enough with these, you can actually go within... An inch of your head keep them away from you on purpose when you get better with it you can intentionally you do it accidentally but you can in, don't overdo it but you can you're good and out with it you can complete control means you can knowingly go within inches of your head and then be able to just move your head away so anybody said unless you're that careless with them or start using a certain amount of weight too early most of the time no matter what other commenters said uh, Unless you're really making some really doing some things too early and experienced. The only way you can hurt yourself is give yourself a concussion. You can actually knowingly allow yourself to get thumped in the head a little bit too. And move with it. You're not really going to get hurt. Really. There's a chance of it flying out of your hands. or. But like I would wear steel toe shoes anyway when you're first using them. You maybe steel toe tennis shoes, steel toe work shoes, like I said. Uh, so as I get near in the camera, I can show you the chances of you actually hitting yourself in the head. Look. Look. I tap myself in the head, nothing happens. Hold on, I'm trying to stay in the camera and do... Because you can really... It slows down and stops your head, even if it bonks your head. I'm trying to show you in the camera. Bonk. There ain't no real ray that you're really gonna hurt yourself real bad. I mean, this sounds stupid doing this, but look. That, you may wanna do that a little bit with these smaller ones. You have to really, um, this, this, that looks silly, but you gotta really, um, To be able to hurt yourself, give yourself a concussion, it is next to impossible to happen. You see, like when I'm there, just show yourself, just to show you that I tap myself in the head with them on purpose. It you can't. It's next to impossible. But anyway, I'm gonna put these away here. And if you're using a concrete porch or sidewalk or some floor stuff, I would use some kind of mat or rug, because in case you accidentally knock them over, you won't chip your concrete porch or whatever the hell or a concrete floor oh and the most important thing like say these they're the bigger ones if you're not paying attention and you answer your cell phone get somebody something gets your attention you walk say you run into it and the things fall over hit you in the foot that's why you really should wear these and when you get into heavier stuff whether you're using one or two hands wear gloves it's very important. 